Oakland Mayor Sheng Tao has come out swinging. She's defiant, and she also sounds a little bit nuts. I am a mother, a fighter, a survivor. And when my parents came to this country fleeing genocide, they never could have imagined that their daughter would one day be mayor of Oakland. I am my ancestors' wildest dreams, and I am your mayor, Mayor Sheng Tao. All right, we're going to examine this statement that she made today. Uh, listen, we had this happen in Baltimore with our uh, state's attorney, Marilyn Mosby, who recently was sentenced to house arrest. She really did a media frenzy trying to stay out of an actual prison cell, and she was successful. Um, in any event, she was very defiant in the beginning also. I am built for this, Joy. And so I understand the shoulders that I stand on, and I'm ready to fight. I know I've done nothing wrong, so I'm ready to go to trial tomorrow. Put this on trial right now so I can prove my innocence. Xing Tao is dealing with a massive crime problem in Oakland, so much so that people are moving out. In fact, CNN theorizes that Oakland could turn into a ghost town. Things are getting so bad, businesses are leaving, and citizens, if they can afford to, they're getting the hell out of there also. Xing Tao has pretty much ignored this problem alleged that the burglary that took Officer Lay's life and other crimes that happened in 2023, that they happened on your watch. Uh, data from your police department shows robberies, burglaries, and car thefts all up last year. How do you explain that? You know, I have the best job in the world. That's because every day I have a chance to fight for a safer, more affordable, and prosperous Oakland. And I ask all Oaklanders to help me achieve that vision with hope and with collaboration and really push aside, push aside division and fear. The only way that we're going to get through this is together. And, uh, you know, I want to thank you for that question because I should clarify the record. I have three points I want to make. First, making Oakland safer for children, families, businesses, and visitors is my top priority. And I join Oaklanders in demanding for more prevention, more enforcement, and more accountability for the criminal groups inflicting harm upon our community. Under my watch, however, we looked under the hood and identified issues that needed fixing while setting priorities that really move Oakland forward. So it's no surprise that some citizens want to recall her. Now, let's also understand that this is California we're talking about, right? This is a very blue state. Oakland is a very blue city. So you're going to hear Xing Tao go on and on about this vast right-wing conspiracy. When she lives in a solidly blue state, uh, also the Justice Department is run by Merrick Garland, a Biden appointee. Okay, so... Where, where's the right wing in this? Our city woke up to the news that the FBI had raided the home that I share with my partner and our family. Uh, I'm going to interrupt her periodically. She said something key there. She said, I share the home with my partner. That is important because, you know, she's not just saying I'm cohabitating. She's saying, hey, they might be looking at him. Okay, he lives here too. She might be right. You all deserve to hear directly from me about this event. I plan to be 100% transparent and cooperate fully with this investigation. And I want to be crystal clear. I have done nothing wrong. I can tell you with confidence that this investigation is not about me. I have not been charged with a crime and I am confident that I will not be charged with a crime because I am innocent. Just like you, I am seeking answers from the U.S. Attorney about what is happening and why. I was, and why I wasn't offered the opportunity to cooperate voluntarily. All right, a couple of things there. She said, I am innocent. I probably would have said I've done nothing wrong. Because when you say you're innocent, you're implying that someone thinks you're guilty. So I would have just said, I've done nothing wrong. She said she's confident that these charges are not about her, which harkens back to that initial statement she made saying that, hey, I live in the house with my partner, another adult 
uh, who is also, he's also involved, Jones is involved in politics. Hey, it could be him, right? Um, <laughs> she said that she wasn't given the opportunity to cooperate. She's going to do more on that. I'll, I'll comment further in a moment. The timing of all this is troubling, and we should all be concerned. We now have an active recall campaign that is a waste of time and public resources, and I have questions, questions that need to be answered. I want to know what probable cause the FBI has. What evidence have they collected that justifies raiding the home of a sitting mayor without notice and without the courtesy of a conversation? All right, it's obvious that Xing Tao doesn't understand how the legal system works, even in a rudimentary way, and that's fine. I don't believe she's an attorney, but she, someone, this is a prepared statement. They should have taken that piece out because, quite frankly, you want to know what evidence they had? Well, apparently it was enough to convince a judge to allow them to raid your home. That's how it works. Uh and she says that she wasn't given a heads up. Xing Tao, that's not what the FBI does. They don't call you and schedule your raid. Hi, Mayor Xing Tao. Uh, we were thinking about coming over at 6 a.m. and kicking your door in tomorrow morning. Uh, does that work for you? No? Oh, how about 11? Oh, okay. All right, cool. We'll be there. All right, make it 1130 just to, you know, make sure you're up and about. Of course, they don't give people who are the subject of these raids, they don't give them any kind of advance warning because they're looking for evidence, Xing Tao. I want to know more about the handful of billionaires from San Francisco and from Piedmont who are hell-bent on running me out of office. I want to know why the day following the qualification of a recall election funded by some of the richest people in the Bay Area seemed like the right day to execute a warrant. I want to know how the TV cameras knew to show up on my sleepy residential street so early in the morning to capture footage of the raid. Xing Tao, that's how they do it these days, all right? They call the media. It doesn't seem right to me either, but uh, the FBI contacts the media and gives them advance notice of when they're about to raid someone's home. They did it with... Uh, Sean Combs, they did it with Trump, they did it with Roger Stone. Okay, so this is just what they do. Sorry. I have a lot of questions and I will get answers. We all will get answers. Like any mother, my first priority immediately following the FBI intrusion was to ensure that my son and I were safe. It's hard to imagine now. By the time my first thought was that the FBI was at my door to help me, to protect me. Just hours prior, a small group of billionaires from Piedmont and San Francisco had succeeded in buying a recall election to oust me in November. And in doing so, they were not only aiming to undermine the outcome of a fair and free election, but they empowered a dangerous man with a history of assault weapons violations to further attack me and my family. Okay, if your life is being threatened or has been, it's really not something the FBI doesn't come to your home to protect you. That, Xing Tao, is something that your police department there in Oakland, or even the California State Police, uh, they would do that. The FBI is not going to come. You're, you're a local official. You're not a U.S. senator. You're not a Congress person or a member of the cabinet. So what, what is she talking about? But what I do know is that this wouldn't have gone down the way it did if I was rich, if I had gone to elite private schools, or if I had come from money. This I know for sure because I was born poor in America. And that teaches you a lot about the world from day one. All right, so here we go. Uh, she was born poor in America. Lady, so was I. There's no inherent nobility in poverty. All right, she, she throws it out there like it's some sort of badge of honor. 
I guess, in an attempt to further push this narrative where it's the rich people that are out to get her. No, it's the Department of Justice, which is run by Joe Biden. All right, it's not a vast right-wing conspiracy. I know many of you know exactly how this feels. Sitting with your head in your hands, scared, angry, scared to look too angry in fear of how you might make the situation worse, feeling the injustice in every bone in your body, knowing if you cry out and demand for answers, you will do nothing but cement the judgment they have rooted deep in their mind. I see you. I really see you. What? She sees us? Look, if you want answers, again, Xing Tao, hire an attorney. They'll get the answers and then you guys can move forward. Uh, maybe the FBI says, hey, we weren't looking for you. We're not going to charge you with anything. Chill out, lady. Or... They say, hey, here's what exactly what we're going to charge you with. All right. Uh, this is all a lot of this is just stuff that her lawyer should be handling. She should have come out and basically said, listen. I have not done anything wrong. I am not a crook. Nixon said that uh, and I will be exonerated and then started talking about the many ills that are plaguing Oakland. The very reasons why she is being recalled. She's trying to make that seem like it's some big orchestrated attack against her. No, the people want better representation. And apparently somewhere along the line, Oakland gave the people the right to recall. I don't believe in recall. Um, that's a, a easy way out. I believe if you vote for somebody like Sheng Tao, who is abysmal, on crime. She's a bad mayor. Well, if you vote for Tiffany Henyard, uh, then I believe you should have to stick with them. And that should be punishment for you not doing your due diligence as a voter. And I am your mayor. I am the mayor to call the, uh, I am the mayor to all the Oaklanders who work hard, who are working overtime to do the right thing and to make the world a better place. And no matter how hard you strive and push and fight and stay positive and that you don't give up because you believe in yourself and you know what you have to offer this world, that you just cannot catch a break. Well, guess what? I'm not going down like that. We're not going down like that. The people who voted for me deserve to have their voices heard and communities prioritize. I'm seeking the truth right now, just as much as you all are. But I will not be bullied, and I will not be disparaged, and I will not be threatened out of this office. I will continue to lift up those most vulnerable, to lead by example, to prove that this system might not be designed for us, but we can and we will build a brighter future for our children. This is my mission as your mayor. And I thank you for seeing me in this moment, one of the hardest moments of my life. I am a mother, a fighter, a survivor. And when my parents came to this country fleeing genocide, they never could have imagined that their daughter would one day be mayor of Oakland. I am my ancestors' wildest dreams, and I am your mayor, Mayor Shang Tao. And then she tries to slide into uh, a little racial dynamic, okay, mentioning her heritage and whatnot. Uh, Xing Tao hasn't been charged with anything as of uh, the 24th of June, 2024, okay? And even when she is charged or if she is charged, she does have the presumption of innocence. All right, so it's the system's fault, right? And Xing Tao, you are the system. You're the mayor. You're not some outsider. You are as inside as it gets. There is something going on in American politics. It's almost as if a few years ago, it, it, it's almost as if 
people took some sort of potion or elixir and it just did something to their minds, all right? Because you've got Christina Peterson, you've got Tiffany Henyard, Sandra Dorley, you've got, we've profiled plenty of people, male, female, black, white, Asian, okay? On this channel, we have profiled them. All politicians who, for some strange reason, don't seem to have any accountability, seem very imperious and lacking in temperament. This is what we have to choose from in America here today. And the problem is the voters, because a lot of voters, like those that put Tiffany Hinyard in office, for example, are strictly concerned with identity politics. So as long as the person is a certain gender, the person is a certain color uh, or ethnicity, then they just move straight to the top of the line and you end up with a Xing Tao who, before this recall effort, before her house was raided, it had already been proven that she was a piss poor mayor. Should have never had the position to begin with. That's why they want to recall her now, right? Listen, okay, we're keeping an eye on all of these fools. Speaking of Christina Peterson, she, look how she acted. This is a judge. She's still in the position as a judge. And look at how she acted at 3 a.m. in the morning outside a club. Extremely distasteful. Guys, I'll talk to you soon.